Hey guys, what's up? Tamahome here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. It's been a good couple of weeks now, hasn't it? Sorry, I've been busy. Uh, when we last left off, I uh, we went through the forest and got the ring back from Mercedes. And now we found out that Oswald has been taken to the underworld. So we're going to visit the underworld today. I've leveled up Gwendolyn to level 60 which is more than enough levels so yeah i have done even though i haven't been like recording i have done like the um i have done the grinding side of things and this is gwendolyn's uh final part of the story which means after gwendolyn that will probably be it for her for a while it will be it for it to be fair but we're going to crack on with this anyway so I have done like a lot of leveling. I've also maxed out most of the skills. So let me show let me show you what I've done offline. You know all the grinding stuff. So you haven't missed anything story wise related, obviously. Um, skills. That's what we need to go to. Right. So ice shot has been mastered. I have mastered up cipher, which was like the main thing, obviously. Uh, I still got some frozen's left. So let's um, level some of this up, shall we? That could be that blizzard could be maxed out in the next well once we enter the last area. But the lights need to max out. So yeah, I've pretty much like nearly mastered most of the stuff. Most of the um, perks and skills as well has been. But um, well, there's only one box to be fair. But yeah, every one of those has been like mastered and stuff. So we're pretty much like near. You know, we're pretty much there to be fair. So we're gonna do like the last part of the story now. Uh, because we're about to do the last part of the story, I don't think there's any sense in Gwendolyn to have all these Puka coins. So, let's visit the Puka town first before anything. We might be able to like level up Gwendolyn to level 61 before we actually go to the last area. Welcome. When can I? Uh, because we've still got like a few... Um, Queen's left. That looks that looks tasty. With me left? Will this be all for you? Not quite, sweetheart. I've got like shitloads of coins from all the grinding I've been doing. And I have actually spent a lot of coins as well, obviously, like Will with the grinding part. For you? The grinding part as well. Uh no love. I've already said this. With pleasure. Yeah, 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 get on with it. Yeah, I'm only going to do, um, I'm only going to do, like, the last story for Gwendolyn today. With pleasure. Just to finish off Gwendolyn. Level 61, very good. So, not long now. Last load of coins, and obviously, like, as you can tell, this last area is going to be huge. Will this be uh, I might do a little bit of the next part. We'll With see pleasure. how it goes, to be fair, because, you know, things to do... Other stuff to do, you know, Will people see things to do. With pleasure. Will this be Almost, darling. Almost. That's the last, that's my last two With coins. So that's all of the coins used up. When you're about to do the epilogue, you might as well just use up all the coins. Will this be all for you? Mm, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, now that we are done. We've got ourselves a nice juicy uh, level up there. It is time for us to head off to the last area of Gwendolyn's story. The Neverworld in Delphia. Now most of the stuff here is what I've been grinding. I've been grinding here obviously in the uh, Ringford Forest. No, Ringford, Forest of the Fairies obviously. Yeah, we never went to the capital alleyways in Gwendolyn's story as I don't I can't remember if I've actually like mentioned that before. But yeah, so so when do we get to the capital alleyways? Mm, later on. Don't worry. Obviously, this is an actual like destination. Just sorry to say, just not for Gwendolyn. So here we are now, the Neverworld, and one of my most hated levels, along with the Fire Kingdom. The Halia has gone to the Neverworld, a place the living cannot go. It is impossible for you to rescue him. No. I know of one person who is able to make this possible. Your dad? Who? The Demon Lord, Odin. Oh, that's a coincidence. 
So Odin's obviously been to the Neverworld before. You're looking slightly thinner. I've been waiting for you, Gwendolyn. I have heard of your exploits. Assaulting the enemy with just one spear. Retrieving the ring from those cunning and shrewd lasses. As long as we have the power to control the cauldron, their plans will go awry. You are the most wonderful daughter in the cosmos. You are as precious as that ring. Now, present your king with the treasures of victory. This ring represents a bond with someone special. I cannot let it go. The reason I have come today is to inquire about how to enter the Netherworld. What foolishness is this? Give me the ring. You should know, Father, since you travel there to collect crystals. Will you please hear my request? Please, Father. Denied. A daughter that has been banished wishes to make a deal with her father, the king of the nation? Very well. In exchange for the ring, I shall escort you to the Netherworld's border. Father... Now, hand me the ring. No. Not until I make it back from the Netherworld. I thought she wasn't banished anymore. Now it's quite clear Odin agreed because here we are at the Neverworld. World. Rescue Oswald has been kidnapped to the Neverworld. We've got to find out Oswald. Enemy levels 39, obviously they range into their 40s, obviously. Undead enemies are the worst enemies, I think. So this is not this is not a really pleasant level. But Odin was just like, oh yeah, my daughter was banished again. But you literally unbanished her afterwards. Shine likes the area, blah, 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 yeah, we know about this. Shine is good, we like shine. In dark areas, we like shine. So it's just like, oh look, you just unbanished your daughter, yet you're banishing her again. Okay then, mate. At least I think that's how it's going. Get out of here, you. Thing is, we're nearly doubled these enemies' levels, so these, it shouldn't be too much of a problem due to grinding, of course. Right, skulls and bones. So yeah, the level world is basically undead. Skulls, bones, poison waters, ghosts and ghouls and creepy ghouls. And who is that guiding us? Ghostly enemies. Many ghostly enemies appear in the level world. While they are in their incorporeal form, none of your attacks will hit them. You can materialize them by approaching a phantom's candlelight or by using the magic potion shine. And I do not like fish ghouls. Because they fly around and they're so annoying. Get out of here, you. What's this in here? Shine. You fucking fish. What a horrible stage. I mean, I'm worried about that S rank, to be fair. And because the fish actually just fly around and try to smack you once. Well, that was lucky I got an S. It's harder to hit them. Right, we got something here. What did we get? A new recipe. Oh, that's fair enough. A new recipe's good. Right, let's smash this open. Get some gold. Right, this here is locked. And we do not have any keys. So our only option is to go up. this way these guys can get out of here I don't even know what level they are but they can get out of here uh, skills now because you know reasons where's that where the fuck's that blizzard attack let's put let's max that one out shall we 125 thousands it costs but we've got more than enough so we'll be able to like there we go Right, okay, okay. Let's 
smash these up. Get some more frozen. Oh, lovely. Right, level 42. Guys, male. Yeah, there are male and female guys. I can't remember what the female ones look like, actually, to be fair. We all just male guys, but the female ones will come. Get out of here. What a lovely place, though, this kingdom is. Do you agree? These guys are freaking everywhere, man. So you can understand why, like, grinding was essential here. You know, it's, it pays to level up. Right, okay, we've got that. No. We've got ourselves a sun pendant now. The sun pendant. Recovery speed up, recovery all bad effects. Okay, that sounds pretty, pretty uh, handy actually. I'm just trying to think. Alright, Dexterity will drop rapidly if I do that. But right, we'll keep it for now. I'm probably not going to need it, but... Alright, let's head up to that Sunstone. These are the female ones, I believe. I think. Well, it could be the male ones. I'm not too sure. I can't remember very well. There we are, like, break, like, you know, picking bones and stuff. Smash all them up. Right, okay, next one. Level 45, and it's the middle boss. Roughly, like, you know, mini boss sort of thing. Let's just kill this thing quickly. Oh, I need to push that. Oh, nice ads. If those are even considered ads. Nice no, summon lads. So basically every time we knock out quite a fair bit of his health, it disappears into the floor and summons ads. Okay. That's just slicing them tentacles up. But mind you, though, the money from these guys are not bad. You know, because we're getting money for every time we actually, like, hit these guys. Might take a while to break out of that one. And I don't have to worry about, like, mo most things. Let's uh, smack it again just to keep that ice going. The May, that ice is not gonna break. He's out. How to freeze someone? <laughs> right, okay, so this should be our key to the door. The sun key. Even though I don't know why they have a sun key in an undead place. Well, Alright. Right, we're not done in this area just yet. There's a rest. We head over to that resting spot here. There's a chest up above. If we head over to that resting spot, we can actually buy the map. But I don't have a clue where the fuck I'm going. Yogurt. Into the yogurt. Level 42. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got a few of those technical beasts. Come on, out you get. which we'll probably won't be leveling up anyway. Well, is there really any point? So this is what exactly? Okay, that sounds um, very interesting. Maxed up skill already. Let's grab what we can from here. Okay, the resting area is next, and there's a chest down there, which leads to nothing, so... What I'm thinking, we're gonna have to open that locked door anyway, so what I'm thinking is we'll quickly go down here... We'll open this chest... And then head over to the resting section, and backtrack all the way down to where the uh, locked door was. Okay, mister. I'd have a... Float your boat, I suppose. We're only going to need two items from this guy. So we've got a recipe, and we've got the map. Now let's have a look at that map together. Thanks, Mr. Ghost. Right, okay, so we've done this top part already. We started off here. So if we go down there, along here, the trial is there with the five sources. And we could go, all right, the boss is there. Okay, we're gonna need that moon key. And I'm guessing that key will probably, yeah, because that door is locked. So what we're gonna need to do, I, this is my prediction. So what I think we're gonna need to do is, we're gonna need to open this locked door here where the S is. Go along here where the chest is, down. We go down here, grab that key, go along here, up there, back up, do the trial along the way, and then face the boss, and that should be it, I think. So that's going to be what the plan is.